Tim Walls repeatedly hosted a cleric who celebrated the terror attacks on Israel and shared a pro-Hitler movie. Okay, so Democratic VP Tim Walls on at least five occasions during his tenure as the governor of Minnesota hosted a Muslim cleric who celebrated Hamas's October 7th attack last year on Israel and promoted a film popular among neo-Nazis that glorifies Adolf Hitler. This whole article kind of runs through all the different times in which Assad Zaman, who is the head or one of the heads of the Muslim American Society of Minnesota, joined with Tim Walls in different events. Zaman spoke at a 2020 event to call for peaceful protests with Tim Walls during the riots in, that were taking place in Minnesota over George Floyd's death in April of 2019. Zaman delivered an invocation before Walls' state address. And then months before that, Zaman called for an end to a government shutdown at a press conference with Walls. There's just multiple instances where you can see the two kind of working together and <laughs> and doing just kind of press and PR together. So Zaman, who is from Bangladesh, said on October 7th of last year that he stands in solidarity with Palestinians against Israeli attacks, which is the day that a bunch of Israel Israelis were, were killed. Um, that day, again, which saw 1,200 Israelis murdered by Hamas terrorists, he also shared an image of a Palestinian flag on Facebook in response to a post by someone named Yusuf Abdi Abdul, director of the Islamic Association of North America, declaring that Palestinians have a right to defend themselves and the Biden-Harris administration is on the wrong side of history in supporting the extremist Zionist regime and its illegal settlements. And I don't even want to deal with YouTube and me pulling up the fact that this individual promoted the man with the mustache who did awful and terrible things that I cannot name because I do not want to be flagged. You all know who I'm talking about, okay? Anyway, nothing about this surprises me. You know, if the Harris campaign were interested in doing outreach to Israelis or like Jewish voters in America are being pro-Israel like they would have just picked Josh Shapiro because he was a more formidable candidate anyway but outside of his military experience I think this showcases that Tim Walls like does not have a huge record on foreign affairs all he has is ties to this crazy person and he said he's pro-Ukraine and he called on Trump to end trade wars with China but in general his experience in this area is very minimal, so we don't actually have a lot to go off of in terms of his record on foreign relations. 